okay let's check this out guys now for those of you who have already seen this image this is an image of a peculiar looking statue that actually is very similar to the symbol of Pokemon Moon now the reason I'm saying this is put is in particular we are possibly possibly now don't get me don't get mad it's a possibility that this statue could actually be the representation of the Pokemon Moon signature Pokemon i.e. the legendary now of course I can tell that this is a statue of a woman holding a sword which could be qu clearly coincidental but at the same time look at it like this we recently just got an update we just got an update that the Pokemon moon is coming out this this particular statue looks like a crescent shaped a crescent shape but at the same time it could have something to do with the game altogether now in particular if I had to describe this Pokemon as a legendary format look at it look at the image particularly it has a veil down its neck it has a small yet medium sized head and it has two I want to say wings wings as such protruding from its back now if you can actually see in the the image actually looks exactly like the cover art for Pokemon Moon just like the crescent shape it actually has a circle sitting out which if you look at it from the side it looks just like that now let's talk bit let's talk typing for a minute now say for example this Pokemon that they act that is from the Pokemon League and X and Y actually did turn out to be the legendary Pokemon for moon now let's look at it like this gravity is the moon uses gravity to control the tides which means that this Pokemon would be is potentially a water or and a psychic type or just a flat out psychic type now given the fact that the box cover is blue I would only assume that the Pokemon would be a dual type between water and psychic or in this particular case the way the statue looks a water and fairy type now granted we did get a fairy type legendary in the last generation but I think since we all know that Nintendo already confirmed that they wanted, they chose the word, they chose the type fairy to appeal to female gamers, which is kind of cool still. But um, I think that the whole, the whole thing I'm getting to is that this Pokemon is minus the st the pedestal that it stands on. Looks like it's about maybe nine to ten feet tall, maybe twelve feet at least. Now let's think about it like this: if a crescent-shaped Pokemon with like I said, like in my last video yesterday, it said it's got wings. This statue has that exact shape, which means that it does represent a crescent, which could possibly mean that this Pokemon, this design for the statue is going to be used in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, I don't exactly know the type of format that they want to go with or any potential, you know, that weird bullshit stuff. But anywho whatever they're coming up with I'm willing to bet on that this Pokemon could be a pretty big idea if they choose to use it for Pokemon Sun and Moon so with that thanks you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time in another Pokemon Sun and Moon